Yeah, we're on the train now. Get it out to Cardiff. It's going to be a long train. Yeah, we've got a couple hours on the train, so we're working on some questions for some of the interviews at Comic-Con um, while we take the train and just kind of resting up. It's nice to be sitting. We've been walking so much the past week or so. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll see you guys in Cardiff. Yeah. Okay, so we're here in Cardiff, and we're in front of the Doctor Who experience. I'm really excited to go in and see all sorts of stuff. As well as they're going to have like costumes, like the actors, so I wonder how big... Um, or how small they are compared to um, what they look like on camera. But yeah, I'm really excited to go and check it out. So we're inside and we are basically about to go into the actual thing. But outside they have some really cool little dollies and these are the real deal. And it's just really cool to look up in there. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So they just did a really, really cool um, little kind of adventure where you get to save the universe and drive the hearts and it was really amazing. But I'm not going to tell you too much about it because you have to come here to be able to do it. And we weren't allowed to take any video or photos, so I'm not going to spoil it that much for you, but definitely come here and check that out. So behind me is the first TARDIS console, and it's actually kind of, kind of weird how, at least to me, the first TARDIS is the most modern looking, and it gets like progressively more steampunk and rustic as it keeps going, and this is the most modern looking one. me is the actual screen used canine all the way from 1977 and I'm just super excited about it. This is such a cool place and there's so many really cool things to look at. But yeah, right here is the screen used canine. So behind me is the ninth and 10th Doctor's Tardis and they kind of talked about how the designer wanted to have a more organic look and this is why I say that the first one is the most modern looking as this one's really steampunk and rustic. There's like actual like rust all over the place and growing but yeah, this is really really cool. This is the other side of the TARDIS door. There's a TARDIS in the door in the adventure. And we're on the other side of it right now. And that's really cool. Um, I wonder if anyone's ever kind of like chilled out here and tried to mess with people. But yeah, it's super cool to be on the other side of the TARDIS door and like eaten, like actually in. There's a couple walls. The 10th and 9th Doctor's TARDIS. And I just, ah, <laughs> to take the London Comic Con, um, but these are the official costumes, and it's a really good cosplay wrap, but I'm just super excited because these are all things that she's worn, and it's just so exciting, uh, this place is just so amazing. Okay, so behind me is the chamber from one of the last episodes, um, where he kept regenerating, and I'm just, this is so cool right here, um, this is just so cool, there's the monster that's chasing him over there, and it's just, blah, it's so good, um, but it's kind of weird to think now that the Doctor is like billions and billions of years old, but it's just, this is so cool, there's so many amazing things um, that I, I just love being here right now. It's just, I'm so excited. Okay, so they have this little walk like a monster exhibit and the choreographer of Doctor Who teaches you how to walk like a Cyberman and a Scarecrow and it's pretty cool um, to hear from the actual choreographer how these monsters walk. Okay, so we found a really nice little French cafe that's just outside of the entrance to the Torchwood. Uh, it's pretty cool, the building and the tower. I think everybody just calls it Torchwood Tower at this point, even though I think it's technically the water tower. Um, but it's kind of cool to be right out here by the cool building, the tower and stuff. It's a pretty neat little location, and the cafe looked pretty good. It was well rated, so we're going to eat this, and then we'll take a taxi back over to the train station and head back into London. I think Mommy and Cooper had a good time at the Victorian Albert today. They have bubble tea without They're having some bubble tea, and then going back to the Natural History Museum, and uh, we're just going to make our way back over there for the next few hours. I think that's our plan. Alba, what do you think? Yep, that sounds about good. Uh, still, you had bubble tea without me. 
Okay, back home again. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That was like um, we were talking about it with the mommy when we all got back home. That it's uh, it felt really like a loving kind of presentation of the Doctor Who stuff. Like yeah. it felt like it was fan run almost, right? I like mean, it was it something is. that a bunch of fans put together and kind of they really loved it. It's official, it. but fan. Right. But and there were a lot fan. of things that were like on loan from private collections and mm -hmm. stuff. You could tell you could tell that like, the people really love it or really fans that put it together. Mm -hmm. Like it felt a little bit different to me than the Harry Potter. I liked it more than the Harry Potter thing. Yeah, the, the Harry, Harry Potter, Potter thing, thing felt a little more commercial and museum. Like, like an museum actual museum. And, uh, yeah, like a park kind of theme park kind of thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, even though it was real props and stuff like that, it it felt less like that. Yeah. Whereas this <laughs> felt perfect. Like this was really a perfect presentation. If so. you're coming to London, this should be one of your number one things to do. Very, very much so. If you're a Doctor Who fan, like this should way be really high. If you're not a Doctor Who it. fan, then who are you? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I loved it. I had a great time. And the giant face of Bo was just uh, that was so cool. awesome. That was really cool. But now we're exhausted again. And no. tomorrow morning we get up and go to London Comic Con for the first day of our first day of London Comic Con. The first day was today. First day was today, but we're going tomorrow for the first day and we got a lot of stuff planned for that so I think we all want to get some sleep. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye guys.